Welcome back to Crash Bash Part 8. This is the first tank level. And the first tank level is quite easy. To shoot, to shoot your uh, cannonball from your tank, you press the square button. Each one has their own certain technique. Carl has a cannonball, Rotoru has two fireballs, and Crash wins. Crash has a long ranged weapon. Plus, Cortex has a lightning bolt type of thing. And that lightning bolt can be quite de deadly at times. You can also press circle to use your mines. Those mines can hurt your opponents quite badly. Alright, at the moment I'm sort of stuck and I'm having to uh, destroy, <laughs> destroy him before I get killed. Alright. Rotoru is down, it's just me versus Cortex now. His his lightning bolt is quite fast and quite hard to avoid at times. However, my one is more uh, long range and deadly. Alright, that is win number two. Alright, round number three now and whoa, we got hit by a lightning bolt there. Alright, Cortex got me with the lightning bolt and also got himself. That uh, long range weapon is quite long, but of course it's quite deadly as well if it's uh, played right. If you, you've got to learn how to play Crash Bandicoot well before you start the uh, adventure mode in this game, otherwise you'll have a lot of problems trying to beat the opponents. Alright, the opponent, opponent is trying to kill me, I'm just trying to avoid his bullets for a while. Hopefully he goes into my trap and so I can hit him. You cannot fire the fireballs while it's... Uh, you cannot fire the fireballs while it's already played out, unless you're in a room where you're allowed to fire two shots. Alright. We're going back into it now, and we're going to play the gym challenge, and we have to defeat the uh, opponents in a short amount of time. I think it's about 40 seconds. Yep, it is. So you've got 40 seconds to defeat all the opponents. Hopefully, just hope that they uh, sort of hurt themselves a lot with mines, so you can uh, win. Alright, it seems like Cortex is already dead. Now it's just me versus Ridderu and Carl at the moment. Got Ridderu down, just gonna beat Carl in 10 seconds. I'm not quite sure if I can do that. Come on, hurt yourself. No, <laughs> he doesn't hurt himself. Alright, he got me with one second to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, so uh, we're gonna have to do this again. Alright, I recommend taking out Rotoru first before going for the other opponents because Rotoru is quite uh, deadly, especially with his double shot technique. Oh my god, I got killed by a mine mine there. I put a place to mine so I can check Cortex, but I ended up trapping myself. Oh yeah, got uh, Cortex with my long range weapon there. That sort of slowed him down. Oh, Cortex got a uh, cowl. I think that might have been a mistake from the AI there. Alright, all I have to do now is just kill Redaru and we should have this challenge in the bag. Sweet, we got the gym, gym now. Now we're going to go for the crystal challenge. The crystal challenge is actually quite easy if you know how to survive. If you don't know how to survive then it might be quite hard. You've got to keep moving continuously, otherwise the uh, thing in the middle will shoot a fireball, a cannonball at you, and you could easily lose once that hit cannonball hits you. When that cannonball hits you, you lose 75% uh, of your health, so make sure it doesn't hit you. Alright, the cannonball is coming up now, luckily I hit was shielded, otherwise I might have died there. Alright, Cortex is looking pretty grim, and I just hit Ritteru with my bomb. Alright, I'm just going to try and take out Ritteru now by uh, trapping him into, a, into an area. 
and that will be the crystal done. Sweet. <laughs> okay, next uh, up will be the uh, next boss of the Crash Bash game, which is that bear, that the one with the bear in the tank. Bear Minator, I think it is. You are progressing very well. More challenges lie ahead in the next warp room. Show us you are worthy of them. Okay then, I will show you that I'm worthy. Unfortunately those masks are still cut out, I have not fixed that problem. And now we're going to reverse Bear Minator. He's actually quite tricky at times, especially if you do not have a good push like Cortex does. Cortex is the best uh, character for Berminator, however Crash Bandicoot can also do it well, if uh, he is lucky enough. Somehow we've got to activate a glitch at times where one of the bears that have missiles falls off. Unfortunately I could not do that. Okay, now we have to push off all those bears in order to activate a missile that that uh, is able to hurt the boss a bit more. So just grabbing the missile once more and popping the boss in the head for the second time. <laughs> Alright, now we will fire another uh, cannonball here and break off a bit more of the area. Hopefully I can activate a glitch. Oh no, no, no glitch activated. This may be a bit harder now. Oh no, <laughs> I got one off but uh, I somehow slipped off the uh, unstable area where you don't get any safety uh, safety returns. So you got to sort of do it well and make sure you hit those safety returns as well. If you don't hit a safety return you're pretty much dead straight away. Alright, popping him on the head one again and waiting for him to fire his shell. Alright, hopefully I can activate a glitch here. Yep! Oh yeah! <laughs> I like I like that glitch. <laughs> Alright, that guy is now down. Now I'm just going to pop him one more time and see if we can activate one more glitch. If we can't activate one more glitch, I won't worry too much. Alright, I'm on the right side this time, waiting for the uh, missiles to fire, and I'm going to carefully take them down. Alright, one down, two are down, I was tapping a square to save myself there, and three are down. Now we just pop them in the head again, oh, that was a bit of a miss. But I still got him anyway, and that's the end of the boss. Now we're going <laughs> into the next warp room where we'll be, we'll, we will be doing some races. So entering warp room 3 now and then we'll enter dot dash. Dot dash is sort of a racing mini game and it's quite fun at times. I kind of like that one. And here we got the next boss, we need 15 trophies, 10 gems and 7 crystals in order to activate that boss. Now we're going into dot dash now and uh, doing some casual racing. I'm quite good at this racing mini game so this shouldn't take too long. Alright, the objective is to uh, collect as much fruit as, as you can as well as hit those missiles. You must come in first place and there are 10 laps Oh god, I'm not starting that well. <laughs> there are 10 laps where you uh, must go around before you can claim victory. Oh, that was a sweet move there, I sort of got cowl backwards. So at the moment it's 7 laps me and Cortex and 6 laps to go now. So the lap's quite short but the uh, action is quite packed which means there's a lot of uh, fruit around the area at all times and there's a lot of missiles around at all times as well which makes it quite fun. Alright, 24 seconds left on the clock. It doesn't usually take me a whole minute and 30 seconds to get around 10 laps. Oh, unless I do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to end the race now and claim my first trophy. Alright. 
round number two, and I am in first place still. It's quite easy to get first place with with the uh, with this game mode because it's sort of easier than usual. Alright, seven, seven, seven laps for me, six laps for me now. Let's just make it five now. These laps go really, really quickly, and you can easily overlap these people. You also need to overlap these people for the gym challenge as well, which makes it uh, good practice for the gym challenge. Alright, on my last lap now, and that was pretty easy. A whole 35 seconds left to spare. Alright, round number three. Oh yeah, Cal and Ruru just got knocked off at the same time. I do like this uh, racing mini game for some reason. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna fire a missile here. Oh, almost got Cortex. Alright, I'm gonna fire another missile. No one there. So I'm gonna try and get grab some fruit and speed around the area and uh, overlap people if possible. You can also use the fruit, I forgot to say, to uh, push the opponent off the edge. Pushing the opponent off the edge will slow them down quite dramatically, allowing you to overlap them. Alright, that was the end of the uh, trophy race. And next up will be the gym challenge for the racing of Dot Dash. Oh, so we're doing quite well. Just waiting for the loading screen and then we'll enter dot dash again for the gym challenge. So you also get a little bit of less a little bit less time to complete the level. I think it's one minute and twenty seconds. And you have ten laps, the others have eight. Oh no, just one minute. We have ten, they have eight. So uh we must complete this whole track in less than one minute in order to win. Plus, we have to overlap both characters, both sets of characters, two times. So at the moment, I am even with the uh, opponents now because I have overlapped them twice. Sweet, got Cortex out of the way, and we had 20 seconds left to beat the challenge. This is where you need a lot of fruit and a lot of turbo as well. Final lap and we've got 10 seconds to do it in. That's pretty easy. Sweet, that was quite an easy gem and the crystal was also quite easy as well if you're good at avoiding missiles. So if you do not avoid the missile and you get hit on the crystal challenge you will get disqualified and you will have to start again. But it shouldn't be a problem because I almost never get hit by a missile in uh, the crystal challenge so uh, this should be a piece of cake. Alright, crystal challenge now. They also go a little bit faster than they usually do but uh, that is still no problem. I do like the background on this on this level. As long as you have one missile, your your chances of uh, not getting hit by a missile will increase by 50%, of course. So that is actually quite handy. I'm not going to use my missile yet. I oh, might as well. <laughs> and uh, go around. Oh yeah, Cortex took the missile for me. Alright, oh gee, I almost got hit by a backwards missile. One lap to go, and we have completed the challenge. Thank you for watching episode 8 of Crash Bash.